Hello everyone. I am back with two numericals on mole concept. Welcome to Chemistry is Easy. This is Srinivas Bisala. Whenever percentage mass of an element is given in a compound, how to calculate the number of atoms of that particular element in one molecule of the compound? That's what we are going to discuss here. So let's see the numerical. Caffeine has a molecular mass of 194. If it contains 28.9% by mass of nitrogen, calculate the number of atoms of nitrogen in one molecule of caffeine. So here, the molecular mass of caffeine is given as 194. And in that caffeine, the percentage mass of nitrogen is given as the percentage mass of nitrogen is given as 28.9%. From this information, we need to find out the number of nitrogen atoms present in one molecule of caffeine. Let's solve this. So let's write the given data. The percentage mass of nitrogen in caffeine is 28.9%. What does this mean? If we take 100 grams of caffeine, this will contain 28.9 grams of nitrogen. Isn't it? Because it is given as 28.9% of nitrogen in caffeine. So we have two values here. One value is that of the nitrogen and the other value is that of the caffeine. So in 100 grams of caffeine, there is 28.9 grams of nitrogen. Suppose we want to calculate in one mole, in one mole of caffeine and one mole of caffeine is nothing but in terms of mass, it is 194 grams, isn't it? So I'm writing like this, 194 grams of caffeine contains how much quantity of nitrogen? So first we need to find out in one mole of caffeine how much quantity of nitrogen is present. From there only we will be getting the number of atoms in one molecule of caffeine. Let's solve this. So cross multiply you get 194 into 28.9 divided by 100. You pause the video and do the calculation. You will get the value as equal to 56.0. What is this 56.0? 56 grams of nitrogen. So this much quantity of nitrogen is present in one mole of caffeine. Let's see how to proceed further. So we got one mole caffeine contains 56 grams of nitrogen. And this 56 grams of nitrogen, I will convert into moles. And that is 56 divided by atomic mass. Here, it is nothing but 4 moles of nitrogen atoms. I will tell you why I did not use 28 here. Suppose if I use 28 here, I will be getting the number of moles of nitrogen molecules. Actually, in caffeine, nitrogen is not in the molecular form, isn't it? And we need to calculate the number of atoms of nitrogen. So that is the reason why in order to get the number of moles of nitrogen atoms, given mass is divided by gram atomic mass, not with the gram molecular mass. If you use 28 here, your answer is wrong. Then, as one mole of caffeine contains four moles of nitrogen atoms, we can say that one molecule of caffeine contains how many atoms? It is simply four nitrogen atoms. That is our answer. I think you know how we got this. We already solved a numerical on this particular topic. You can check previous two videos, you will get the information. So one mole of caffeine contains four moles of nitrogen atoms means one molecule of caffeine contains four nitrogen atoms. So our answer is option C. So with this information, now it's time for you to solve one more numerical. Here it is. 
the number of moles of oxygen present in 1 liter of air containing 21% oxygen by volume. So here it is given by volume. You try to understand by yourself and solve the numerical and put the answer in the comment box. I repeat, 1 liter of air is given and that contains 21% of oxygen by volume under the standard conditions. From this information, you need to calculate the number of moles of oxygen present in 1 liter. I am reminding you, you are not calculating the number of moles of air, you are calculating the number of moles of oxygen in the given sample of air. I think you got the hint, you can solve it very easily and I am checking your answer. Wait for the next video. Thank you very much.